What is going on guys, this is Waffa here and welcome back to some more Ark Valgaro. Now last time we left off we struggled but we eventually finally tamed this bad boy right over here, the demonic reaper empress, or bad girl I guess is an empress right? <laughs> but we finally tamed this thing and holy heck. It seems a little bit underwhelming. I, I I got so many comments from you guys last episode because I asked you guys, hey, which one should we use? The Demonic Reaper Empress over here or the Demonic Thorny Dragon that we have over here that we were using like two or three episodes ago or something like that. Uh, which one of these should we use against the tier four boss? And yeah, a lot of you guys, an overwhelming amount of you guys said, yeah, just use the Thorny Dragon. I was I was kind of even thinking that too. I don't know if I said that last episode, but yeah, I, I, I was kind of leading towards the Thorny Dragon as well, which kind of sucks because, you know, it took so long to get this one. And of course, it's an Empress, so it's supposed to be like a step above the, the regular demonic, right? So <laughs> that kind of sucks. I did get a comment saying apparently the demonic Reaper Empress is able to have like uh, reduced damage, like it, like it takes less damage or something like that. I guess it has like really good armor rating, so that's something to think about, especially because, you know, it has relatively low health. How much does it have again? It has 10 million health, which still hasn't healed up. It might be able to heal up now, I don't know. Might have to cryopod. I don't even know if it could fit in a cryopod, actually. Because aren't there certain creatures that can't fit in a cryopod? Uh, oh wait, no, I don't, I don't know. Didn't I transport, uh, titans or something like that in Extinction? I don't know if that worked or not. Or I don't, I don't, actually, I don't even think they had, yeah, they didn't have cryopods in Extinction, did they? I don't know, I can't remember, I think, I, I feel like this was, no, this wasn't Genesis, yeah, we definitely had that in Extinction, I don't know, it, it, it's been multiple years, <laughs> but either way, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember if cryopods were ex in Extinction or not, oh, okay, never mind, I didn't even have to cryopod it to, to get up to full health right there, which is good, and hey, look at that, 21, I don't know if that number was there last time, but there it is right there, <laughs> we have 20 more and more uh, level ups we can give it, it has 10 million health right now, 32,000% melee damage, which is pretty good, and, like, seconds after I stopped the recording last time, I actually discovered another attack, which I think is another projectile attack, and I think it did it to us a couple times, but boom, gets its tail, and does, like, a big AoE projectile, so if you think about it, this is, like, an AoE, like, right up next to you, even though it's, like, with the tail, it's kind of a little, little bit ranged, I guess you could say, AoE attack right there, we have this projectile attack right there, and I guess this is, like, a combination, it's, like, an AoE projectile there, which is crazy good. I don't know how accurate it is, like, if I'm going to be aiming, like, right there. Is that going to hit, like, the, uh... Oh, no, it... Okay, it kind of biases down a little bit, which is kind of reminiscent of the, uh, the Wyvern's, uh, projectile attack, where it kind of biases down. I don't know how this, this Reaper, uh, Queen, or Reaper Empress, really fares against something like a, a Tier 4 boss, but I think we're still going to use the Thorny Dragon over there, because that thing is just crazy. I think it's maxed out, though, so we can't give it any more level ups. We could probably find a, uh, some sort of mind wipe tonic that actually works on dinos. We might be able to... Yeah, it's maxed out. We might be able to do that. What is this? Oh, is it? Yeah, it has a, uh, it has a smithy on the back of it, right? I think that's what it is. Like, it's able to make... Oh, wait. Wait, these things are a little bit more, uh... Is this, is this a smithy or is this a fabricator? Yeah, this has got to be a smithy. There's, like, no actual electronics over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can believe we've got that Dorney Dragons had that ability, which is really, really useful. But, yeah, I definitely think we're going to be using this. And you know what? I was kind of thinking, like, if we're going up against that Tier 4 boss, which we could definitely do, I, I made sure to get, uh... I think we were missing like 20 something uh, fire feathers or something like that and I just killed like a light feather light not too long ago in the uh, the winter biome and that thing dropped like 20 of every feather so we don't have to worry about that at all I'm sure unless unless we're missing like one feather literally that'd be that'd be pretty bad <laughs> but either way I was kind of thinking like hey what if we upgrade the saddle on the de demonic thorny dragon now I don't know how expensive or how cheap this thing was to make in the first place usually whenever you upgrade something it's going to be a uh, uh, using basically the same things that it took to craft it in the first place Okay, so it looks like we're missing 1,113 demonic hide. I might be able to upgrade this, you guys. Demonic. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I can't pull it over here. Okay, I guess S plus just isn't compatible. But, uh, is there demonic? Yeah, there should be. Yeah, we, oh, no, that's primal hide. Where's demonic hide at on this? Oh, there it is. We only have 297 demonic hide right there. Ooh. But we might have some more over here, though. And I know there is a, uh, oh, yeah, we've got a lot. <laughs> I know there's a uh, demonic ovus, like, right outside of our base, too. I saw that off camera, too. Uh, let's try and upgrade this. Boom! Now it's, uh, Ramshackle, and it's up to... Okay, I was about to say it's 20 armor rating, but no, it's 20 weight. <laughs> I think it had 100 armor rating, so it's up to 214 now, so it's up a little bit right there. I wonder if we could upgrade it again. Let's see, attempt to upgrade it. Oh, we did! I doubt we could do it again, because we only have a, a, a thousand and forty-three right there. Or, what are we missing? 2,000 more demonic hide and 516 fiber and 500 more metal ingots. 
Yeah, 2,000. Golly, so you need 3,000 demonic hide to upgrade this to, to whatever the tier 4 would be. Which, speaking of tier 4, we need to make that tier 4 upgrade or uh, spawn or doohickey thingy here in just a bit, too. But it's up to 310 armor range, which is really good. It tripled right there. I think we can actually get that up a little bit more over here if we use armor reagents on this. Get that up a little bit more. 353, 378, 404, 438, and 462. Oh, man. What about more? What about, what about like 15 more of these? Oh my god, okay, well, whatever, whatever, uh, Demont or Apprentice, we're going to be maxing out. We're going to be maxing out at whatever Apprentice maxes out at for saddles, so, let's do that. Probably going to be like, great, like 700% or something crazy. Oh, it literally is 700%. That was a guess and I got it right, right there, not bragging. <laughs> but 700% armor rating from 100%. Golly, that's amazing stuff there, you guys. And I do know, yeah, somewhere out there is a uh, Demonic Ovis. So we can go kill that thing if we really want more uh, Demonic Hide. Maybe save its dead body for the chainsaw to get more uh, demonic hide out of it. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could do that as a little bit of a uh, little bit of an appetizer, I suppose. So how's about we go outside of our base? I think that had, that thing only had like two million health or something like that. Oh yeah, you know what? Uh, let's, let's also. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this yet. I tamed a uh, another Tyrannon over here, like a higher level one. It was really easy. Just <laughs> they're spawning on mass over there. I think this was level 840 whenever it uh, whenever I found it, so that's really good. So it's up to level 1372. I killed a few things after the fact, just to get it some level ups. It's up to 500,000 health and uh, 3,800 to heckin' melee damage there. I, I don't think I touched that, but 377% uh, movement speed, you know, just so it can move around a little bit faster, which is good. Uh, my, yeah, you know what? I, I might I might ride on this thing to, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just ride on Let's just take it over here. I might ride on this thing to go to our quote unquote battle arena to spawn in this thing, but let's go. Let's go actually make the tier four chaos summoner boss thingy. Let's go make it finally tier four. Boom. Yeah, we're going to be getting the chaos one. So let's do that. And maybe, hey, maybe, maybe later on this episode, we'll be able to get the uh, the RG. Oh my gosh, there it is. We'll be able to get the celestial RG, you guys, because I saw another RG on the map. I actually went over to it off camera with that Tyrannon on just to just, you know, before a recording to see how many uh, celestial kibble I need to give it. And I need to give it 11. So hopefully we can make 11 of that and uh, we'll be able to tame that thing maybe later on this episode, depending on <laughs> how this chaos guardian boss battle goes. Who knows how it's going to go? It's going to go either really easy or really hard. I'm not sure, but. Uh, oh my gosh, consume this is summoning the Chaos Guardian, the overseer of all evil and disorder. Sheesh. What's it say, uh... Oh, it is, okay, it actually says it right here. The overseer of all good and order. Okay, so it's basically the opposite, which makes sense. <laughs> so, we're going to be taking on the Chaos one. Now, if I wanted to do the uh, the spirit one, what are we missing? We're missing uh, two Caustic Feathers, so just kill like another like, light or a dark creature, and we'll get a bunch of feathers and probably fill that in. Three Origin Blood. I saw a uh, Origin Rex out there not too long ago. I think it was off camera. And then 77 Primal Blood should be able to do that. Should have a lot of Primal creatures actually spawning in now that we're not Primal or uh, Pugnacious, like, you know, overlapping with the mod. So we should be able to do that, no problem. 13 Demonic Souls, yeah, I guess we'll be down to 12 that we need if we go kill that uh, thing right outside of our base. And of course, seven more Celestial Souls. So, doesn't really seem that hard, honestly. Doesn't really seem that hard to, to actually get that thing spawned in maybe two or three episodes from now or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure that out. But I think the Demonic Ovis was somewhere over here. Oh, yep, there it is right there, I think. Hold on, let's see how much health does that thing have. You see it's like fiery legs right there. What's that thing? Uh, yep. Uh, wait, oh, two, yeah, two million. There it is right there. Look at this camera angle. I'm like a cinematographer over here. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that. That is like a close-up of its legs. And let's charge up and let's kill this thing instantly. Hold on. This button did something for the, this button did that extra attack for the, uh, for the Reaper Empress. I wonder if it does anything for a Thorny. Okay, it doesn't do anything for a Thorny Dragon. That sucks. But, what does this do? Oh! Now that does the Flame Breath attack, which I completely forgot about. 2.8 million right there. Jeez. What killed the Demonic Ovis? I don't know. I, I, I might be able, if it's dead body, it's still there. Actually, I think it got harvested, didn't it? It might have gotten hard. Yeah, it did. 276 right there. I was about to say, maybe we can get it with a chainsaw and get even more hide out of that thing. Because I remember not too long ago, I think I was off camera as well. I got like a thousand heckin' fabled hide whenever I killed a uh, fabled... Well, it was like a Brachio or Brano or something like that, so I probably got a lot of hide because of that uh, aspect. But whatever. Let's get this guy in a crowd pile. Let's go over to our op big open area. And let's go heckin'... Here we go. We got the... Oh, he's charged up, so I've got to... Yep, there we go. Let's go over there. Let's go do the second boss battle. We get the appetizer out of the way. He's nice and charged. Well, he's not charged up right now, but you guys know what I mean. He's, he's, <laughs> he's ready to go, or she's ready to go, up against this Chaos Guardian. Got a little bit of an appetizer right there. Now we're ready for the main course going up against the Chaos Guardian. Let's go over here. Let's go drop off our Tyrannon, swoop down into the middle of the thing, throw our uh, Thorny Dragon out of its crime pod, and let's go heck and fight this Chaos Guardian 
and let's try and win. And uh, hey, maybe we could actually get a uh, little summoning th doohickey thing for it too. And that's going to be really cool. Maybe we could tame that thing later on in this episode. That'd be pretty fun. So either way, let's just swoop down here, like I said. Oop. There we go. Let's go down, down to the middle. Unfortunately, a bunch of trees grew back in over here. I thought a bunch of trees weren't over here. That's why I kind of picked this area, but whatever. Yep. Thorny dragon time. And a big old poop right there. And let's charge up. We're ready to go. We got 700 armor rating. Yep. Let's get the uh, Chaos Guardian ready to go. Now, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, I th yeah, I think you guys said, wasn't it a wyvern? I think you guys said both of them were supposed to be wyverns, right? So. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can do a ball oh, missed. Oh. Oh, we're taking a bunch of 36,000 right there. Oh, let's see. Oh, I missed with that. I think no one's taking a bunch of half millions. It's taking a bunch of half millions. Whoop. Oh, really good hit right there. 4.3 billion health. What? Oh my gosh, but we're taking 200k. We need to watch out. I'm glad I did not get any. Oh, it's not even. It's, I, I got a direct hit on it right there, but it's not, it's not taking a bunch of damage over time, unfortunately. So that sucks. Come on. There we go. We got a lot of hits right there. We've, we've taken a s little sliver out of its health, which is good. Half, a bunch of half millions right there, a few two millions. Zooming in on it a few times because it's heckin' spyglass over here. Laying a couple uh, demonic eggs or whatever probably right there too. <laughs> Killing some dark griffins. Hopefully I can get some heckin' feathers from them because golly do I need them if I want to get the, uh, the, the spirit version of this thing spawned in. We did a hundred million damage to it already, I assume. There you go, really good direct hit right there. I don't know what it's distracted by, but... Golly, I, so, I see so many green numbers on the screen, which is good. That means we're doing a lot of damage. We've already done 300 million damage to it, apparently, because it's down to 4 billion health out of 4.3 billion. <laughs> it's really getting distracted on, like, everything else. Hopefully it doesn't kill that Tyrannon again, because I just tamed it, like, off... Oh, nice! Got a few direct hits right there. That's good. I don't know how good it'd be, uh... Oh, got a few direct hits right there. Nice. If this thing gets stuck up against that... Oh, my gosh. A lot of really good direct hits there. Down to 3.9 billion. This might be the whole episode here, you guys. This thing has so much heckin' health. I'm killing all of its minions and stuff, which is good. And we have so much stamina that I don't have to worry about, like, oh, I'm running out of stamina. I have to stop charging up or whatever. You guys remember? Oh, oh, oh. we had that problem with the uh, the Wyvern. The Celestial Wyvern going up against, like, a, a Primal uh, Dota Rex or something like that. A few episodes ago. Not too long ago, I don't think, right? Oh, my gosh. It's already down half a billion health, I think. 3.8 billion down to... Or, uh, yeah, 3.7 billion actually right now. Out of 4.3 billion, golly. We're, we've taken a little bit of damage there. I, I might want to be uh, might want to be concerned here in just a bit, you guys. Might want to take a health thing here somewhat soon, but there you go. Got a really good hit there. Hopefully going to kill all of its minions if they're not already dead, because it looks like, golly, look at all those half millions. Oh my gosh. And I'm not really complaining too much that my thing keeps zooming in on this thing a little bit, because at least it kind of keeps track of where it is. Oh man, don't know what all that... 70,000 damages were right there, but jeez, I really need to watch out. This thing does seem like it has some pretty good armor rating, too, because, oh, nice. Really good direct hits right there, but of course, we got some direct hits on me. A lot of really good direct hits right there, down 3.5. We've almost done a billion damage. We've almost done a billion damage already on this thing with who knows how much. Oh, man, that was so close to being a direct hit. Oh! Ah, uh, we only got, like, one hit right there. Now, if we can get Oh! If we get, oh, man, we're almost at, like, half health. We might want to start watching out here pretty soon, you guys. Might want to heal this thing up. Might want to put the health, like, in its inventory so it's easy to just heal up immediately. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got a hit right there. Okay, it's going to start taking some damage over time. Open up its inventory. Boom. No, oh, we're not healing up right there. Oh, this is bad. I think. Are we healing up? I don't know. I don't think we were. Oh, man, those are the minions. Whoops. Well, at least I'm still killing them, though, so that's good. But we're down to, like, half, a, half health. This thing has a ton of health. I'm going to have to put up inside of a cryopod or something. It needs to get, like, distracted. Oh, nice. A lot of really good hits there. But it's getting a lot of really good hits on us, too, which is not good. Nice. Even more awesome hits there. We've already done a billion damage to the second Chaos uh, Guardian. You guys, we're, we're at half health right now, too. We need to watch the heck out. Golly, this is, this is bad news, bears. And I'm taking a poop break in the middle of the battle. No! Oh, my gosh. Oh, really good direct hit there. Oh my god, no turning! Oh, whoa, how did I shoot behind me like that? That was crazy. <laughs> Not complaining. Oh, really good hit right there. I don't know if he's taking a bunch of half millions. Yes, he is. I hear him in the background. That's great. Yeah, see, look at that. It's facing, like, the opposite direction of me, which is crazy. I'm not complaining, though. Oh, he's over there. He's aggro on something else, I think. If that's the case, I might be able to put him up inside of a cryopod real quick. Let him look. Oh, no, he's going to come back over here, isn't he? Oh, if he gets... Oh, my God, he's going to kill my heckin' whatever you call it up there, isn't he? I think he is. Okay, well, you know what? 
I don't, I don't know if he's going to re start regening or what. Oh, jeez. I don't know if he's going to start regening or what, but I am fully expect my heckin' Tyrannon to be dead by now, jeez. Okay, okay. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Charge down, boom. And, uh, Cryopod. We have the Cryopod. No, we don't. No, we don't. Cryopod. Boom. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, he's gone. Oh, I'm glad I saw that. I don't think he healed up right there. I don't... He looks about the same health. I'm not charged up right now, though, so I'm doing a little bit less damage, so I might want to watch out for that. Man. Oh, I just did... I think I, I did some good hits right there, though. Oh, we still have a little bit of health to soak up. I'm glad I got the, uh, the armor upgrade there, because who knows? We might have been dead by now if I didn't upgrade the armor from 100 to 700%. Ah, oh, that missed there. Golly. Want to get a hit? Oh, that went, like, right through him. Man. I really need him to get distracted on something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't think he was... Uh, he, oh, he was getting distracted on that Triceratops or something like that for a second. Oh, he's taking a bunch of half millions. He's taking a bunch of half millions. That's great. Oh, he's taking a bunch of millions there, too. I don't know what he's getting distracted by, but... Oh, man. Oh, got some really good hits right there. God, he keeps getting some hits on me, though. There's nothing really around here. Oh, 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 he's all the way over there, which means I might be able to run this away. Oh, Megapithecus. Megapithecus. Nice. Whoop, kill those minions real quick. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get distracted by the Megapithecus, though. I doubt it. Boom, getting some hits on him. Nice. Man, we've already done a billion and a half damage to him already, it seems. What's he doing? Is he still... Okay, is he I think he's distracted by the Megapithecus. I think. Yes, he is. He is. He is. I see him back there. I see him. He's still... Uh, Yes, he is. He's still fighting the Megapithecus, which is good. That's good. Let's go over here, put him up inside of Crab Hunt, and then, uh... Okay, I don't think... Is it, oh, he's charged up, he's charged up. Okay, there you go, uncharge. Put him inside the Crab Hunt. Come on, he's down to tw down to 21 million. Hey, there's that number again, you guys. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> oh, I think I'll... Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to, have to grab all that. I'm going to, have to grab it all. Oh! No! Oh, my God! Oh, that was close. That was so close. We totally would have died. We totally would... Oh, my gosh! <gasps> Wait, he did die! <gasps> what? And then I died! Wait, how did that happen? Wait, how did he die so fast? He had 21 million and then we d d glitch and then die. What was that? <laughs> Come on. And I, you know what? I did get some comments of you guys saying to let the, uh, the emperor, uh, queen emperor, whatever, uh, demonic emperor, empress, maybe we should do a tag team with me and uh, her up against this chaos. I guess we could try that. I guess. Maybe I'll do the rest of the level ups on like health or something like that, you know? Uh, and maybe I could try and upgrade our saddle. I, I'm like, it's just that we didn't craft the saddle, which kind of came with it. When do we kill the Reaper Empress herself? So I don't know how expensive that's going to be, but man, I have to go to, go go back to a save? Eh, this one might work. I don't know. I'm like, this one looks, uh, yeah, it was definitely spawned in when this happened, so might be a little bit too late, honestly. But hey, uh, maybe, I'm like, the main thing is that I'm like, he, we could have healed him up if it wasn't that weird uh, glitch. Where do we have to put him up inside of a crop and then take him out, and then we can give him the health thing? Like, if I, if, that, if that wasn't happening, I totally could have healed him up way earlier. And who knows how we got that 21 million damage, like, we were already riding him and everything like that. He just died instantly. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to have to watch that footage, but either way, <laughs> let me reload the save from, like, three minutes ago. It's going to be in the middle of the battle, so hopefully we don't get killed whenever I load into it. <laughs> And I'll see you guys here in just a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. We're in the middle of the battle right now. There's the other uh, thing. I don't know where. Uh, here we go. Here. Oh, see, look at that. Now I can heal myself up just fine, which is good. Boom. Killing a bunch of stuff right there. I'm not even charged up. Yeah, see, look at that. Now, now I'm full health. Now I'm full health and it's complete. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to look at the footage, though, to see, like, how we took 20. Oh, my gosh. Man, he's doing a lot. Look, look at this. We just healed up. Or we're oh, it's, it's whatever effect that is, I think. That's doing, like, a percentage of our health over time. I think that's what's doing it. I th well, then again, like, we died, like, instantly, though. Like, that's how we died. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, we got a hit right there, though. That's good. That's good. Let's see if we can get another health here. No, yeah, look at our health just draining there. It's not... I have to put him up inside of a crop out again, probably? Hold on. He wasn't charged up just a second ago when I... Yeah, look at that. That's not working. What? Watch, we want to take some hardcore damage right now. Yo, look at that! Oh my gosh! Holy, I think it's because we're not charged up, but at the same time... Man! Well, now we're now we're charged up. Now I need to put him inside the crop pot again, I think. Oh, man! I need him to get distracted by something. I could bring him over there with the, uh, the Megapithecus and stuff, but, like... We're dying so fast. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Well, we're definitely dead. Like, look at, that. Look at him! Oh my god, we're dead again. We are totally dead again. If he doesn't get distracted, oh, okay. oh no, I thought he was going to get distracted on something there, but he's not. Man, this sucks. 
Oh, 200k damage right there just casually. Well, then again, we could do uh, 500k, so hey. <laughs> Jeez. How do we avoid so many of those hits? Until, like, uh, recently, right? Like, if I if I do another health rate... Yeah, look at that. It does nothing. Look at that. Look at all those 36,000s. Oh, my God. Why is this not healing him? Why is this even a thing that I have to worry about? Now I've got to put him inside of a crowd pod and take him out again. Got to get uh, keep my distance from him. Make sure we're, we're nice and safe. Away. I don't think he's near us anymore. That's good. I think we're I think we're relatively safe. Now we can uncharge. And we can get the cryopod out. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this glitch, you guys. It's definitely some sort of glitch. I've, I'm like, I'm pretty sure we've seen... I, I saw a, like, forum post about it, like, multiple years ago. So who knows what's going on with that. There you go. Now he's out. Let's get our stuff back. Boom. He laid a demonic egg. Guess we can pick it up. Boom. And, uh, where in the world did it go? Oh, it's in my hot bar. Yep. Yeah, now, now look at that. Healing up all the way there. Perfectly fine after the crop pod. How does that make any sense? I have no idea. There you go, charging back up. I don't know where that can wyvern is, though. <laughs> Guess we can get the spyglass back out. Thankfully, we didn't die during this, this, this reload back in, so that's good. Last we saw, he was somewhere over here, so... Let's see if we can continue this battle. I don't know how much health he has right now, though. There's right there, 2.8 billion. I don't know how much health he had uh, whenever we died during that last clip, though. But we should be able to continue taking him on right now. I don't know if from now on I'm, I'm able to continue healing myself up. If that's the case, that's good. We got a hit right there, but it was on something else. It was on like a woolly rhino that casually died. Yep. There we go. Got a lot of really good hits right there. Nice. Yep. Nice. Amazing hits right there. Basically every projectile hit. Uh, uh only did 700 damage right there, it looks like. <laughs> now if we can get all nice, a bunch of half millions, a bunch of half millions. Oh man, now we're taking a little bit of damage. Now we're taking a little bit of damage from all the minions and some damage over time and stuff like that. We need to watch out. Oh! Oh, come on, get him with the projectile. I don't know how, how good this would go with the uh, the Reaper Queen, right? Because I I think she might might be able to do like a little bit more damage output and stuff like that with her like Spinneroony attack that does like five mil. I don't know how much that would do to this guy though. Maybe like only a cut only a couple million or something like that, but. I'm like measuring uh, like health and stuff like that. She only has ten, only 10 million health, I think. And this one has 75 million and has the upgraded saddle. So, you know, it just makes sense to use. Oh, just makes sense to use this guy. I don't know what happened right there with that single player lag, but it seemed like it worked out in my favor because I got some really great direct hits on him. If I can stack up a bunch of these, that'll be great. Yep. It seemed like that helped us out a ton. Oh, man, there's that uh, Mega Pelagus. Stacking up these these uh, damage over time hits right here. Helped out. A t oh, it's a chaos. Oh, I thought that was a Chaos Gigantic, but I guess no, it's just a regular one. <laughs> it says Chaos Guardian, so I kind of got uh, mixed up right there. But we are still able to take this thing down, hopefully. We're still doing really, really good on health. Amazing amount of projectile hits right there. Continue getting them. Ah, that, that whoa, amazing projectile hits followed by literally none. And then another really good one right there, and then we're getting some hits there as well. We need to watch out for that. Whoa, we need to watch out for that too. I, I don't know if that, is that the minions doing that damage? I don't know. Like, we have 75 million, which is a huge number, but going up against something like this that has actually 3 billion, uh, well, 4.3 billion health. Is that, is that, uh, is that less, less than half health right now? I'm so flustered right now, you guys. Look, look at me zooming in like that. <laughs> I'm not doing that on purpose, too. It's because of the spyglass. The spyglass's zoom feature is right click, which is the same thing as attack with a projectile for the heck and thorny dragon. That's why it keeps happening. <laughs> oh, really, really amazing direct hits right there. Okay. Well, oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is this? We're flying across the map. <laughs> what? Oh, come the heck on. Come the heck on. What is this thing, Rudolph? Yep. Okay, I need... Uh, hold on. I need to, like, teleport back over there. I don't know where... Uh, hey, look at that Celestial Diver. I guess I'll get uh, another Celestial Soul right there real quick. <laughs> In the middle of this again, Chaos Guardian battle. Where did I go? You know what? I might as well just do the fly command. I don't know where my coordinates were of my base. I should probably actually write that down, honestly, so I could actually be like, okay, this is where I go back home uh, to navigate back home or whatever, but... <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least the fly speed is kind of crazy. Like, look at how fast we're flying. That's probably how we flew across this heckin' map right there anyways. Where was it? It was, like, right here or something. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is where we... Okay, so we go around this corner. This is where we uh, crop out at him. It's about right here. Yep, there he is right there. Okay, let's get back on the ground. <laughs> Come on, you can't fly you can't fling me halfway across the heck or literally across the heck map like that. 
Oh no, it didn't work again! What? Every time I want to heal it up, I have to give it a heckin' cryopod treatment? I guess if I do it right now, that makes sense to do it right now, because it's, it's far away. There you go. I don't know what that little minion right there is, but there you go. Put him up inside of a cryopod. He has a pretty good amount of health. So you know what? Ugh, there you go. I'll still heal her up all the way. So boom. Charge up. We're, we're taking some damage from some little minion right now, though. We need to watch out. We need to watch out. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is, actually. Hold on. Yep. Okay, we're healing. Okay, there we go. We're healing back up. Oh, the buffoon Mesopithecus. <laughs> okay, there's the wyvern up there. I might want to shoot it with, like, my heckin' sniper rifle or something like that. Just get aggro on us. Just so it comes over here because it's distracted on a bunch of other stuff. We're just, like, we, we like it being distracted on stuff, but at the same time, it's, like, super duper far away. We kind of want to continue this battle. You know? Oh, wait. Oh, it, it came back. Baby came back. You can blame it all on me. Ow! I, even though I didn't fling myself halfway across the map like you did. Jeez. Okay, well, is that, is that left in, less than half health right now, which is amazing. Are we charged up? Yes, we are. Let's continue doing some great damage to this thing. Like, you guys saw how much damage this Thorny Dragon did to, like, Origins. Basically everything else that we took it on the uh, last three episodes or whatever that was. This thing is soaking all up like it's nothing. Like, holy heck. Like, sure, it has four billion health, right? So, of course it's going to soak up a lot of damage, but still. That is such a huge jump. From, like, yeah, Origin things had, like, maybe half a billion health. But these Chaos things have a literal multiple billions of health. I don't know how many, uh, how much health did the Tier 3 things have? You know, the the Reaper Queen, the Reaper Empress, and the uh, Celestial Emperor. I don't know how much health they had, the actual ones that we had to face. Not the Tamable versions, I forget. Because even the Tamable versions, I think, had way more health than the Tamed versions, right? Because whenever we tamed the actual Reaper Queen, or Reaper Empress, uh, there you go. I think she had, like, 100,000 health after we tamed her, she had, like, 4 million or something stupid. Or, what'd I say, 100,000? She had like a hundred million health, and after we tamed her, she had like four million. So, yeah, a huge d decline pre tame to post tame. So that really sucks. That'd be amazing if we had a heckin' thing with a hundred million heckin' health. But no, we only have a thorny dragon with seventy-five million. <laughs> Whoa, what is doing all this damage? Like seriously though? Oh, it's like some sort of like lava coming out of the ground attack. That's what that is. That's probably what killed me that one time. I wouldn't be too surprised. What? It's now down to 1.5 million heckin' health, killing a bunch of Megapithecus and Mesopithecus minions and stuff. Jeez. Like, look at, look at how slowly its health bar is going down with how many multiple... Oh my god! <laughs> I love when my whole screen just gets filled... Oh! When my whole screen just gets filled up with a bunch of stuff, and I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> how are we doing on health? Yeah, okay, we're still doing pretty well on health. That's good. Still, still randomly zooming in on her, which is great. Nice. Got a really great projectile hit on her right there. I don't know how 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 the fire bro. Oh! Speaking of fire breath, her fire breath seems to do a lot of damage. We might want to try that out ourselves. I forget which one it was. Oh, nice little poop break right there. I don't know if that was a demonic egg that I just laid. Yep. Was this the fire breath? Oh, well, the fire breath is so delayed though. Oh, nice. We got some really good hits right there, but we're taking a lot of hits as well. Golly. Well, she's down to 1.2. Down to 1.2. Like, we're almost to the final stretch of the final billion health, which is just absolutely nonsense to think about. Like, these huge numbers we're dealing with. What I don't even know what, whatever episode it is right now, 60-something. Episode 80-something, we're going to be dealing with, like, things with trillions of health, and I'm just going to be like, Oh, you guys remember when we dealt, dealt with that thing that had, like, only 4 billion health? Huh. We have a heckin... Godlike like Megapithecus has like 10 trillion health and uh, it's trash. <laughs> it only does a billion damage per half second. <laughs> Golly, these this mod is just absolutely just pure nonsense, you guys. Like the late game stuff of it. Like, oh, it's under a billion. It's under a billion health right now. So we can actually more specifically see how much health it has as I take a mid battle poo. It might have been an egg. Who knows? Might have just gave birth right there. You never know. You, you kind of have to do that in the middle of a battle. You just kind of have to procreate. You kind of see that with the Indominus's Rexes. Whenever you almost kill them, they lay emergency eggs. I do the same thing, but, you know, I'm not the one dying. <laughs> oh, I was earlier in that alternate universe where I literally died. But this, this Chaos Guardian, this is the one dying. You know, I think I actually... I don't know if you guys were referencing this thing, but I think you guys were even saying, like, this might be a thing where I could take it within 10% of its health. And then uh, torpidity and maybe knock it out, tame it, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it works on this, but it definitely works on like megabithic, like uh, boss megabithicuses and other things like that that don't have like a public facing torpidity bar, I guess you could say. Oh my gosh, look at all this damage we're taking. Golly, at least I killed all those minions right there. 
But yeah, I doubt it's going to be this thing. It's probably going to be just like the other bosses, where if you kill this thing, it's going to uh, drop a tameable versions of it or whatever. It's getting distracted on stuff. Nice amount of damage right there. It's down to half a billion health. God, oh, man, you guys. We're actually going to be able to do it now, huh? All because of that dumb glitch we have to put inside of a cry pot earlier. That's the only reason why we died earlier. And same thing uh, not too long ago. We had to do the cry pot thing just like five minutes ago, too. So that sucked. But we prevailed. We got this thing distracted on other enemies while we cry potted it. And it's taken a lot of damage down to 361 million damage from its fourth... 1,300 million damage I had earlier, because that's what a billion heckin' is, right? Golly. And we're almost back down to half uh, half health right now, so we we might want to watch out, but this thing is so close to dead, I don't think I need to worry about that, right? Let's get a few, uh, get some melee hits on this thing, that'd be great. Now let's get another projectile. Nah, no, man, I missed. Uh, let's kill a little Griffins here, though. Uh, these guys really need to drop their feathers, though, because that's where I got all that, like, big variety of feathers. Like, light feather lights and light, or uh, dark feather lights, light Griffins, dark Griffins, those things all dropped. And I bet if we fight the, uh, the light version of the, uh, the, the spirit thing, that's probably going to have, like, a bunch of light feather lights as it's, like, minions, I bet. <laughs> you know, that are, like, light griffins, probably. That, that makes more sense. Because I, I think both of them are supposed to be, uh, wyverns, from what you guys said, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if, uh, we'll actually get a wyvern from these guys, like, a tameable version, which is going to be amazing if that happens, but... We'll just have to wait a few minutes, maybe a few seconds, we'll see. Maybe under a minute. Uh-oh, oh man, oh, we're flying across the map again. That better not happen, at least it's facing this way. The edge of the map is like right up there, so not really too far away from the edge of the map and we'll hit a hit a barrier and it'll stop us. But he's down to 43 million health. Oh, there we go, down to 29 million health. One more, no, we, oh, we still got some hits there though, down to 11 million. This is the final one, we got it, oh, we got it. Learn the Ingram for the Chaos Orb, we heckin killed it, there you guys. Holy, after all this time, we finally killed it. There's this Manigar that's been breathing even though it's been dead there and it's been, it's been fading, it's been like warping space time right there this whole time. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering what that was in the background there and now we finally know. It was a weird glitched dead Manigar. <laughs> but holy heck, you guys, after all of that, what did we get? We got... Uh, hold on, did we get any tameable? I don't know if we got a tameable version of that thing. I don't think we did. Did it have a- I don't think it had a torpidity bar at the end there, like I was saying. I don't think it did. Hold on, let's do this. Yeah, see, I need to cry pot it again and I'll be able to do that, so that guy sucks. But, now we have the ability to tame, uh, not spirit, chaos creatures. Need to look at the other uh, thing, which we could do, like, right now. See if there are any chaos creatures around the map. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Chaos. Rex, or what, what is it? Chaos. There, yeah, chaos Rex, chaos Spino. Level 8, 12 for the Rexes. Ooh, I don't know where that is on the map, but 40 and like 74 or 75. And then another one at like 43 and 47 almost. If we go over there with, I uh, seemingly just need one Chaos Orb, honestly, because we saw that earlier. We're trying to tame it. I was like, oh, why can't I unlock the younger? But now we can, right? Now we get the Chaos Orb, unless it did it for myself. Why can't I spell Chaos? <laughs> yeah, I unlocked it for myself. That's good. So we got the Chaos Orb. Relatively cheap. Just need one Celestial Kibble. One Demonic Kibble, one Elemental Kibble, five Fabled Eggs, I think we have like 20 at home. One Origin Blood, we have a lot of that. I think we have three or four at home right now. And then 50 Primal Blood, I don't know how much we have at home, but we might be able to heck and tame a Chaos thing like next episode, you guys. I, I'm pretty sure this whole battle took up the whole episode this episode. <laughs> just, just thinking about it right now, so I might have to end it off like right here. Ice Griffin right there, it's going to give us a bunch of Ice Feathers, that's going to be good. A million damage there casually, yeah, 24. <sighs> Probably could have got like double that if I used my Chainsaw, but whatever. Holy heck, though, you guys. Oh, there's a uh, loot boss or whatever here in the middle of the battle. <laughs> loot that guy's dead body, too. Oh, there's a bunch of... Yeah, loot all this stuff. What is all this? What are all these things? Oh, just dire wolves. Alpha mammoth. Hey, now I'll take that. A few blueprints of some stuff and arrows and whatever else right there. I'll take it. Oh, there's so many of these, like, bags, though. You don't know what's good. It's kind of like Easter. You have to look for all the eggs and stuff like that. But instead of eggs, there are, like, little backpacks full of loot. Which I guess an egg could be. If you guys are looting in real life, if you go Easter egg hunting, <laughs> you're trying to find eggs full of loot instead of uh, little bags full of loot like I am. Either way, it's just, uh, there's still a few more bags out of it. So wait, wait, hold on, where did the actual dead body go? Like, did it act- Oh, hey, look at that, I, I might, that might be my demonic egg. Yep, that was mine. <laughs> in the middle of the battle right there, got a demonic egg for myself. Is this his dead body? No, it's a fabled mammoth. See, I feel like I'm missing out on some stuff, but at the same time... Oh, yeah, wasn't it over- Oh, that's another egg. No, it's a poop. Yeah, it's a chocolate egg. <laughs> it's totally chocolate, you guys. Yeah, it died over here somewhere. What is that mammoth? That's just a regular one. Died over here somewhere. I don't see his bag, though. So that kind of sucks. I don't think it, if it did drop a bag, I don't think it did. 
But I'm pretty sure we're standing like right here and then we did a projectile like facing this way and then it died. So if it did drop a bag, it would have been like right there. And I think it was like this. So it would have died like right around here. Yeah, I don't think it dropped a bag because I see nothing unless it's like in here and it's like really fitting in, blending in with all the uh, the shrubbery and whatnot. Hey, look at that. Speaking of such a another demonic egg right there. I think I dropped that one too. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing a any sort of bag here. So that sucks, man. I'm like, usually whenever you kill a boss like that, it just puts the loot in your inventory. I guess the, all we really got was just the, uh, the Engram for the orb. And now we could actually tame chaos creatures, which is good. You know, that's still a good thing in, all, in and of itself. But you know, it would have been good to have the same thing with the tier three that we had uh, uh, with, with the tier four. You know, getting a tier four is a summoner thingy. We don't, we don't have anything over here, which sucks. We're pooping a lot, which is crazy. It makes sense. Kind of have to take a little bit of a poop break after so much mayhem, right? But yeah, I'm not seeing any summoners. not seeing a saddle. not seeing any of that stuff. Hold on. What was it called? Chaos? Yeah, see, not, not picking up anything right there when I searched that. So that sucks, but whatever. I only have three poops. Oh yeah, what happened to my trade? Did my Tyrannon get killed during that battle? I'm like, it looked like he was getting killed. <laughs> like, I don't know if he actually did get killed, but it looked like he was getting killed. Where was he? So down there is where we're battling. I think I dropped him off up here. I think he's dead. Like, I'd be, I'd actually be surprised if he's alive. I think it was over there, yeah. It was all the way over there, I think, on that cliff. And then I swooped down, and then I let this guy out of the crap out, and all that kind of stuff. Like, I, I, I am fully expecting to see a dead body over here. Either that or, like, a little bag or something like that, right? Yeah, I don't know. He's he's gone. He's completely... <laughs> who knows where he's at? He's probably acting long gone by now. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's a Triceratops or a Staracosaurus or something down there. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it, you guys. It's dead. It's gone. I'm so... Pfft. I guess press F to pay respects to the heckin' second Tyrannodon, fabled Tyrannodon. I just tamed that thing off camera between this episode and last episode, but it's already dead, I guess. Unless I'm looking at the wrong cliff here. Unless it's up there. I doubt it's all the way up there. I don't think I flew all the way up there, did I? I'm pretty sure I flew just to this one. Although, if it is up there. You know what? We have a pet finder. We can, or at least we can make one. Uh-oh. Can I go up this? Oh, I can. Ooh. We can make a pet finder. Uh, that, that shows us creatures nearby. I think I think you just need a thatch. Might be able to make that like right now, right? So, uh, hold on. Pet. Oh, do I not have the Ingram? Hold on. Pet finder. Wait, do I not have the mod installed? Oh, wait, that's the thing right there, right? No, that's the corpse finder. Where's the pet finder at? I don't know where it is. I might have uninstalled the mod or something like that accidentally. Like, while I was putting all the mods together for, uh, for this game, or for this, for Valgaro, I might have accidentally forgot to put it back into this, the mod pack or whatever you call it. Man. Eh, whatever. I'm like, it's, it's just a, it's just a fabled thing. But it would have, oh, jeez. We have another one at home, though, but, you know, next episode, I definitely want to go over to that RG that we saw. I don't know how close or how far away we are from being able to tame that thing, but I already know I pre-looked at it. Between this episode and last episode, we need 11 fabled, or, uh, celestial kibble, no fall damage, nice. We need 11 celestial kibble in order to tame that, uh, level 840 celestial Argentavis, which is going to be crazy good, you guys. That's, that's going to be our, like, main flyer, I guess. Because we didn't get a tameable version of that heckin' Chaos Guardian, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, well, speaking of Chaos things, next episode, who knows, we might, we might do the RG thing, we might try and tame our first Chaos creature, maybe we'll do both, who knows? I guess we'll just have to end this episode off right here and then wait until next episode to find out. Man! There you go. You want to die so bad? Let me let me take care of that. That guy dials a little bit of collateral damage right there. I didn't mean to kill him, but at the same time, I'm not complaining that he died. <laughs> there, kill this guy too. Boom, dead. Golly. Oh man, look at the Reaper Empress up there. I kind of got spooked that it might have been like a random boss attacking my base, but it, I'm like, it kind of is, but it's not really. <laughs> it's our boss, which is good. But let's let's go back home. Let's end off the episode. I, I don't know where I was like segueing into the outro right there, but you guys already know the deal. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Ark Valgaro comes out. Because like I said, it's going to be a crazy one with us either taming a, cha a chaos creature for the first time or... Oh man, we're almost knocked out for some reason. Whoops. What happened? Uh, stimulant. Sure, there you go. Make sure I go. Okay, there you go. Keep me nice and awake, but I'm probably super hungry now. But yeah, we're probably going to be taming our first chaos creature, which it's probably going to be the chaos rex that we saw, like level 812. Uh, whichever one of those, maybe we'll tame both of them. Who knows? Depends on how easy it is to make that chaos work, which I guess we could try and make right now, right? Let's see if we can do that. Uh, either that or we'll try and tame that celestial, uh, RG. Speaking of such, celestial kibble. Can I make 11? I can make four. So, uh, we are missing. Uh, 29 fabled egg. Like, I'd have to tame another Tyrannon or two or three or whatever uh, fabled one if I want to get that many more eggs because they seem like they're decent at laying eggs, you know, so 
how to do that between this episode and next episode. But it seems like we only need seven more. So that's still kibble in order to tame that thing over there. Oh, you know what? I need to stop this in case I need feathers for the uh, the orb. Hold on. There it is right there. Chaos. Can I make one of these? One demonic. Okay. Glad I did that. So now I can make a demonic kibble and then we just need some primal blood. So demonic kibble. Let's make one of these. Boom. There we go. And let's get the. Uh, what do we need? Orb. I think we have uh, primal blood in our inventory, right? No, that's apex blood. Whoops. Man, primal blood. I'm pretty sure we killed. We killed a bunch of stuff during that battle, but I guess it wasn't uh, what we need. Yeah, we need 47 more primal blood. So I guess we'll worry about that next episode. But yeah, next episode either taming our first chaos or our first celestial RG. Either way, it's going to be pretty heckin' epic. So you guys will definitely want to tune into that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Valgaro. Oh, bye there. Oh.